been about nine times the last, well, before that one. When I'd done this road, God, a dozen times, lights were on red, pedestrians, so stopped. Car pulled up, big SUV pulled up. I heard a noise turn, and this car's coming to say for me. Next thing I know, I woke up about 20 yards across the road, and then the ambulance came and stayed in the hospital. Well, it was, it was terrible. It was, it was painful. As I came home with I had a brace on my leg, so I couldn't bend my knee, and a frame, walking frame, so I couldn't, up, I couldn't get up my own stairs. I had to go and see a neurologist then, because I'd, you know, been knocked down and land on my head. I was fit for my age. I used to walk every day. Maybe only three, four miles. But now I can't do it. I've tried. It's not going to get any better. Time goes on. And uh, that's about it. But this bloke on the, the car that hit me said that it was broken down. The car at the stop was broken down. But we don't break down on the lights. And by the time the police got there, this car had gone. It was terrible the way they treated us. And they said that it was probably my fault. I cross on red. And that was the part that, that hurt me. And that's why I said, right, I'm taking it to limit now. I know it wasn't my fault. I know that it was on green when I crossed. But I'm very pleased with the way Slater and Gordon treated me, especially the cities to Rayan. It's great. He phoned me up, we ended up like friends, but he's always kept me informed. He's always been straight with me, and I've been straight with him. They've done the best they could. <laughs>